Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. My name is Becky and this is the Magical Rabbit Kimi channel. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm super excited. It's a slightly different video. You'll see I don't have my ears on, so it is a Harry Potter themed video. I'm wearing a Thestral shirt that I got from the Accio subscription box and I'm super excited to get into my quarterly wizarding trunk box. But we'll have to wait for just a second because I'm going to go over some parameters on my 100 subscriber giveaway that I recently announced on my last video. So you'll need to watch that. If you want to be involved in this giveaway, you need to go and watch that video. You need to like, you need to comment. Within the comments, you need to leave um, two things, but one thing in particular. I'm just curious as to what your favorite moments have been so far from my channel. So leave that in the comments and leave the hashtag 100, hashtag 100 in the comments as well and be, pu be publicly subscribed you must be 18 years or old or older and you need to live in the u.s or canada and this subscriber deadline ends on march 3rd on march 3rd at four o'clock my brain works i promise <clears throat> Um, so yeah, then the, the, the winner will be announced on March 6th. So, um, please like, please comment and subscribe and I hope to see you guys all in the giveaway and thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Let's get into this wizarding trunk box. I have no idea what this theme is. I haven't done any checking, but, um, it does say the wizarding trunk on there. Um, magical fragile delivery on this side. And it says it's quarterly um, special edition magical post and on the f it is called the high security vault that is the quarterly box um, so let's go ahead and get into it I'm super excited and this box is not giving me any clues Ooh. okay so I'm gonna go with what I see first and I came out with a bunch of different things. Wow. Two pins. I'm excited. Okay, so this is the groundskeeper. This is, looks like a groundskeeper's box. Um, This is cute. I'm super excited. So, the first item, I have some hot pads. Gloves. These are super cute. They are peppery. And, yeah. These are fun. On them, they say the wizarding trunk, so they're well branded. And yeah, these are hot pads that you would use in your kitchen. So these will come in super handy. I love these. These are cute too. I love the pepper design on them. And they're like brown and tan checkered. Super fun, super cute. Love it. Okay, so there are two pins here that came out and a little. Pumpkin seeds, which I'm assuming is full of candy or mints, but there's a pin that says groundskeeper, groundskeeper's assistant, and you've got a wand and a shovel in green. That is super cute. Love that. And then they do, they've been doing these really beautiful portraits and they have Hagrid. Um, I love Hagrid. I'm super sad that Robbie Coltrane passed away. He was... One of the greatest characters, and he portrayed Hagrid so well, and it's got um, a portrait, but I love that there are leaves surrounding the portrait as well. And these are both double pin backs as well. So this is the front, and that's the back. Well, not the back of the pin itself. Let's see. Oh my goodness. These are tough to get off. Okay. It doesn't say who it's from on the back, but it does say the wizarding trunk. And same with this one. It doesn't say who it's from, but it does say the wizarding trunk. So I'm wondering if it's the same company or not. But these portrait pins have been so gorgeous. They have been in every box that I've had recently. And oh my goodness, these are my favorite pins that come in. So let me get this quickly put away and we'll move on. So, oh, pumpkin spice tea. 
So it's T. So this is, I'm going to need some scissors, I think. So it says giant pumpkin seeds. I'm not going to pull it out of the packaging right now because I want to keep this video short. Um, but it says pumpkin spice tea. It says black tea, pumpkin seeds, apple pieces, elderberry, cinnamon, orange peel, and ginger on the back. Oh, wait. Never mind. I saw how to open it. There's like tape. And glue. There we go. Ooh, I can smell it already. That smells amazing. So yeah, it is tea. But as soon as you open it up, you can start smelling it. And it smells amazing. Oh my goodness. They package these really well. And they're nice and tight. Oh, wow. That smells really, really good. So that's what it looks like inside. And it smells so good. Like you can smell the pumpkin in it. So that's yummy. All right, next we'll go for this box. It says Unlocking Magic. They, they have the best gold foiling or the best foiling on these. They're so, they're, I love these boxes. They are packaged so well. They have beautiful keys that come in these. Ooh. Um, looks like a rhino or a boar, maybe. It looks like it might have come apart or it wasn't fully on there, but this is the key. But it's like a, it looks like a boar, maybe with some wings. And it's got some really pretty detailing. And that is the key part. I think it's, it's really pretty. And then on the other part of it, there's a little lock to unlock. So that's really pretty. They have really cool keys. I'm not the biggest key person, but they do have really pretty keys in here. So they have something in some bubble wrap. So let's open that up. It's unicorn hair. So it is a potion ingredient. On the top is a wax seal of a unicorn in like a silver. Super cute. Very beautiful. It's glittery inside. So this is the front. It says unicorn hair. Oh, that's really too small to read. Collected after shed from an ad male from a male unicorn. So they waited until the unicorn actually just shed the fur, shed the hair on their own, on its own, and then they collect, and then this was collected. So that's cool. It was humanely collected, and it's in a nice ja glass jar, which is super cool. Um, I'm curious about that one, so we'll go with that one last. It's the one I'm most intrigued about. So I have this beautiful brown box. With some styrofoam and something wrapped in styrofoam. It looks like an egg. It is an egg. It's like a bronze egg. Super pretty. So that's pretty cool. It's very bronze in color. Don't know what that actually is supposed to be, but I'm sure the cheat sheet will tell me, and I'm super excited to see this cheat sheet. All right, this is heavy, so it says, the keeper of your keys. Oh, there's two things. I'm a Dorcas. Okay, so there's two boxes here. I thought it was one, uh, but this one says, the keeper of your keys, with pretty gold foiling again. Ooh, it's a nice giant key ring. That's clever. And you've got a bunch of different key rings, uh, key chains on there. Or rings for your keys on there. That's pretty cool. And then you've got a little clip so you can clip it on with something. That's clever. I like that idea. 
so that's cool. And then this one says, Stormo's Magical Creature Rescue. On the box. Super cool. They have amazing packaging. I love the Wizarding Trunk. They're so clever. More Styrofoam. That's what I'm looking at, so let's pull it out. Okay. Ooh, it's a creature. I think it's a hippogriff, maybe? It is a hippogriff. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is probably my favorite item in here. Although, the unicorn hair is getting me to run for money, but that's gorgeous. Oh, that's really pretty. So it's Buckbeak, I'm assuming, but that's... It's on like some grass. That is stunning. So there's that as well. This is a super fun box. All right. And then each quarter, uh, quarterly box comes with um, an Enchanter pamphlet magazine. So this comes with it. And there's like... Ma um, there's always like, it's like a quibbler, it's like their version of the quibbler pretty much. They have um, a ginger witch who um, is now in custody for selling poison apples and resisting arrest and escaping custody. So that's really funny. So there's like just a bunch of random stuff in there. I think there's sometimes a poison, um, a recipe in there. So how to extract giant spider venom rock cakes. So there is a recipe in there. Mountain Giants Misunderstood, um, Where to, uh, Poisonous Plants and Where to Find Them, that's upside down in here, so that's hilarious, Hippogriff Rescue Center, Essential Camping Tips for Wizarding, for Wandering Wizards, Horoscopes and Classifieds, so that is the table of contents, so that's super fun, and you have a way to subscribe on the back. I'm not gonna go through this whole thing. Unless you want me to, then I will do like some, I'll post the pages on my Instagram or something. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, and I will show you guys what this is, but this is super fun. Um, I will also leave the Wizarding Trunk um, website in the description down below so you can go check out if you want to get this box for yourself. So a rock cakes recipe. Um, it looks like it's gonna be something pretty sweet. It asks for dried fruit and some sugar in there. So there's the recipe for rock cakes, which I never really wanted to try based on the books, but maybe these will be not rock cakes like Hagrid would make. I don't know. Um, they have, uh, I don't have all of these and I probably won't get all of them, but it's called Magical Creatures A to Z. This is the K page. So we have Kelpies and Krakens. So there's the Kelpie page. And the Kraken is pretty cool on the back. So there's that. And then here is the... They have some prints in here. And then here's a spoiler sheet. So they have one print. It looks like it's Hagrid's hut. Oh, it's Hagrid's hut. And you can see Buckbeak in the background. Eating pumpkins. This is my favorite book. I love, um, oh my goodness, why is my mind blanking? The third book is my favorite book, Prisoner of Azkaban. Wow. So I love it for a lot of reasons. I love that there's Quidditch, so you get a lot of Fred and George and Oliver Wood in there. And the sport, I, I like a good sporting event, so... And then you, Harry realizes that he has family. Spoiler alert if you haven't read or seen the books, read the books or seen the movies at this point. Um, but yeah, so Harry realizes he still has family and it's just a super sweet book and it's, it's my favorite book. So this is everything. I love this pamphlet. I love this art print. It is stunning too. It's just, oh, oh. There's the egg in the background. They usually like to put um, all of these, a lot of the items that you get in here. So you've got, this is clever. So you have the tea right there. You've got 
um, the hot pads in there. You've got buck beak. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be some unicorn hair in there. Uh, some key, the keys. So yeah, super fun, super clever. I'm not going to go through all of it right now because we're already at 15 minutes and I still have to go through everything, but yeah, I love that. Um, so here is the spoiler sheet. I'm going to go ahead and read through that for you. So number one is the creature page. So you have the creature page was ripped right out of Ma magical creatures A to Z written by the wizarding trunk. So it's a wizarding trunk exclusive. And this is from the wizardry workshop, um, made this. So then you have the dragon egg handling oven mitts for number two. These oven mitts are perfect, perfect for hot, taking hot items out of your cauldron or the oven, but you should probably get it out before it hatches. So that's that item. Um, three, the dragon, it is a dragon's egg, dragon's egg, grab your oven mitts, it looks like your dragon egg is starting to hatch. What shall we call this baby dragon? Um, and that was designed in-house. The other two were by Danny at the Wizardry Workshop. Um, the portrait pin of Hagrid. Where did you go? There we go. The portrait pin. Um, this portrait will be perfect for your collection. The gate keys. This key topped with a winged boar. I was right, it is a boar. Um, this key topped with the winged boar will get you into the gates. The padlock for the gate has been shrunk to fit into your pocket should you need to lock the gate or simply enlarge the padlock. So you have the boar, winged boar, and then the padlock that fits, has been shrunk to fit here. So that's cool. There's also a winged boar on here as well. I don't, it's probably hard to see, but the top of it is a winged boar. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, six, the rock cakes recipe. The perfect rock cakes recipe to make for guests. Written in house by and designed by wiz the Wizardry Workshop. Uh, the hippogriff, my favorite item. This beautiful creature is very proud but easily offended. Take care when approaching this beast. And I love that he has one paw up too. That's clever. And super cute. Ah, uh, the Enchanter. It's that time again. The quarterly edition of the Enchanter focuses on groundskeeping and forestry. So that's probably what this theme is too. Groundskeeping and forestry. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our quarterly subscription to ensure you never miss an issue. Written by a talented team and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Uh, the Groundskeeper Assistant Pin. If you don't have your groundskeeper shirt handy, wear this pin. Sorry, you guys, when helping out our favorite groundskeeper. Giant pumpkin seeds. This tin of giant pumpkin seeds would taste great if steeped in hot water for three to five minutes. These giant pumpkin seeds will taste like um, pumpkin spiced tea. It's practically magic. Designed by Wizardry Workshop and created for us by the Half-Blood Prince. Half Blood Holistics. <clears throat> oh, the key holder. Maybe. Yeah, the key holder. Oh, man. Butterfingers. Okay, the key holder. This key holder is perfect for any giant, any half giant with a few dozen keys to lug around. We have included several extra key loops for any of your past keys that may not have inclu included them. Oh, so you can put your keys that you've collected on here. Okay, unicorn hair. This is my second favorite item. It might be tied for first. I don't know, but this is super cool. So the unicorn hair. Unicorn has many uses. It is used in potion making as wand cores and by the giant gamekeeper to bind bandages. This unicorn hair was collected after it was shed by, uh, by an adult male unicorn labeled, labeled designed by Here Be Monsters. Bottled by, by, bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Okay, 13, Groundskeeper's Cabin, this beautiful art print. Look, a look into the grounds. 
keep the groundskeeper's cabin. So, yep. That is the quarterly. Okay, cool. So the next quarterly theme is favorite witches and wizards. So you better believe there's going to be some Dumbledore and some McGonagall themed things in that one, I'm assuming. I hope. And maybe some Molly, Molly Weasley thrown in there too. We will see. But I'm super excited. This is a great box. Uh, you know my favorite item is that... My favorite two items are these guys. These are super cool. Probably my least favorite item. And I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just... I wouldn't know what to do with this, but... It's, it's super cool. I'm not going to lie, but it's probably my least favorite item. But these are my favorites. Um... These are going to go right onto my shelf, and I love it. So that is my quarterly Wizarding Trunk Workshop. I will leave their information down in the description down below. And I apologize for this long video, but these are usually longer because there's a lot to read and process because I don't know what these are. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And what was your favorite item in this box? I would love to know and leave that in the comments down below like and if you haven't already done it yet please subscribe to this video if you like this content and want some more so until next time guys i will see you later good issue deuce and don't forget to sign up for that 100 subscriber giveaway all right bye guys good issue deuce